right i hope it will be better now <clears throat> okay so let us start yesterday uh, we were on to database structure understanding where the complexities comes in the database one that is called one to one mapping we explained what is one to one mapping one form data is going to one table single table that is what one to one mapping is all about a database consists of multiple tables procedures views so many things first we are talking about tables the tables is the heart for the database second one to many mapping how we have seen that as well how a single form data is distributed to multiple tables we have seen customer order versus customer order details so order master and order details then many to many mapping this here also we have seen the situation where we are forced to get into many to many mapping this is the base for database so once if you understand this part things will be very clear for you in managing a database testing let me know if you have any queries on this part right just you put your questions in case if you have any questions on this particular portion one to one one to many many to many if you are comfortable raise your hand so that we will move further as we are shortage of time perfect thank you so i'll move on now the next thing that we are going to learn who creates this database structure is it a tester who creates the database structure is it tester responsible for anything since this is the heart of the entire system this is generally done by domain expert so domain expert is a senior design architect if any individual industry they have they have a different nomenclature for the post so as far as we are concerned it is a senior person who knows about the technology who knows about what is the end to end activity what they expect uh, from the client so from the requirement you should be in a position to understand what client really requires at that stage this will be done so it is not the part of tester but it is very crucial for tester to understand how the flow is where and all he has to check what he has to check because if you check one table thinking that one form will go to only one table there may be the other tables which gets updated and you may not know how the data is updated in the in those areas i'll come to that when i when we discuss on the error common errors made by or make by developers now for designing there are three important sorry four important properties everybody has to consider that is called asset properties so asset properties is the one which makes the database more robust so what is asset asset means a for atomicity c for consistency i for isolation d for durability this is the important part that you need to test to ensure that all these are perfectly taken care i will explain you when we get into practicals what it each one means right now this means that each transaction atomicity now atomicity me atomicity means each transaction is loaded or uploaded or nothing is loaded there is no partial activity either i load full or i don't load anything for example i am inserting 10 records either all 10 records to be inserted or no records should be inserted i there should not be five per five records inserted sixth record is not inserted it should not be like this 
how this is done i will explain you when we get into the database this is called transaction begin transaction end transaction so they begin the transaction end in case if any failure happens i will now come out of the transaction we will explain it as we go inside the database right so atomicity is either you upload all transaction commit everything or you don't commit anything that is one of the important factor because if any intermediate error you will not know where that intermediate error happens partial data should not get uploaded this you might have noticed in online reservation or any such activities in case if your sometimes your credit card might be debited ticket may not have got booked there there will be a refund automatic refund that takes place all this because of this atomicity atomicity is a very important component second consistency this end shows this is one answers to the question answered in the previous question asked in the previous session by one of your person this end shows that the data that are stored in the database are valid if i store a data invalid data in the database what will happen nothing can happen it will be an invalid data only because database as such doesn't have an intelligence it is the user responsibility to ensure the data that goes inside the database are valid when i say user it is all about developers who codes as per the design rules so are valid according to the defined rules set by the requirement this should be consistent all all times it is not that one time it validates another time it doesn't validates etc it should not be in those those cases are not acceptable so consistency is very very important factor so this ensures that the data that are stored in the database are valid according to the defined rules set by the requirement if it is not then we are not considering that structure is a good structure isolation multiple users this is indirectly it is talks about performance testing as well multiple user processing multiple transaction at the same time and it should not impact each other's transaction in one of our design uh, we made a mistake over here uh, what happened was there was i hope you all know there is called debit note credit note in the banking transaction right a uh, credit note means i need to pay you money i raise a credit note when you have to give me money i raise a debit note what happened we use the same object for both because the structure is same only the d to c and that only varies the type whether it is a debit note means d credit note means c so we use the same object so both the forms comes to the same object during that time what happened if two people one guy is doing credit note another guy is doing debit note the data is are when it posted debit note got posted as a credit note credit note has got posted as a credit note all this problem happens if you don't isolate the transaction in another sense each user that object has to be instantiated you might have aware of there is one uh, object oriented programming there is a concept called instantiation i create an object i copy the object i make it available for my program instance for my instance it is my instance is exclusive instance so that part is what isolation is all about uh, more about this in case if you are engaged in a development uh, coding or development uh, training we will talk about this more when we come into the isolation this also can be discussed when we take a particular database as well so durability once committed to the database it remains under all situation even under the situation like a power loss crash etc whatever happens my database is secured so whatever the data i have already put in it is secured this is the concept of asset atomicity consistency isolation durability atomicity all or nothing simple either you load all or don't load anything consistency the way you have validated it ensures that it does all time it it should not be sometime it does sometime it doesn't do 
that is called consistency isolation multiple transacting there should not be data mismatch in the table it should be as it is supposed to go in right it should be an independent instance for each user durability ensure that the data once stored it is not lost so this is what as it properties so for a database structure because uh, nowadays you may be very young now as you go up in the ladder what will be your role in the uh, testing environment or a development environment or whichever environment you are working ultimately you should become an architect somewhere either you become a business analysis and gather the requirement at the time of gathering the requirement you should be aware of what this client is trying to say how i am going to design because you are supposed to do an estimation for a project when you go into a business analyst most of the testers their uh, path will be towards business analysis because they are more exposed to the client they are more exposed to the business requirements when it comes to developers they will get into design architect etc for estimation it is very important that you should be aware of the complexities most complex is the design bad there is a many to many right right that is most important part so having said this i will just answer some a couple of the questions that you have asked on this any questions on now structure you can let me know consistency means setting constraint on a db it is not a it is it can be a constraint it can be a trigger it can be a any of the back end operations that you do but ultimately the operation that you do has to be consistent throughout validation has to be consistent throughout and ensure that for example duplication of data so while insert somebody validates the duplication of a data for example a customer name should not be duplicated i am just taking a, a very vast example say customer name should not be duplicated i take a stand then insert you have taken care of duplication when i am editing the customer name you are not taken care of duplication you are allowing duplication in that state that is what it is about consistency a uh, two stable state one minute is there a db from one stable state to another stable state okay one minute okay it is a one question it is elongated question consistency means setting a constraint on a db or it is moving db from one stable state to another stable state not in between two stable state state so he is this is the one big question he has asked so consistency means setting a constraint in db or it is moving db from one stable state to another stable state first is moving of db is what i feel you are talking about is taking a backup or taking a secondary image that pre generally happens periodically any committed transaction it will be moved to the uh, backing up that is we call it as a backup or a secondary uh, session or there will be an image created at the back end at that stage always stable state is taken there is no unstable state that stable state means anything that is committed to the db it is considered as a stable anything that is not committed it is not considered as a stable so generally any image capturing will not happen in between that is whether it is a memory in memory database or a conventional database i hope that answers if not you can refrain your question again uh, you can sorry reword your question if developer is responsible why it is relevant for a tester to know who create db structure <laughs> it is uh, in another sense if developer is responsible for entire application development right but why testers are required to test that application if developer is 100% right then there is no testers market the problem for the developer is developer is also like a tester he is also very fresh in the industry he is he learn what is c he doesn't know what is business 
he learned what is java he doesn't know what is business he doesn't know why multi layer structure is created in the table he might think that that architect is a fool or architect doesn't this particular table is not required without understanding the complexity of the project he will update to two table he may not update to the third table which is most important so in that sense developer or you both are same i mean you means i mean tester so tester or a developer both are fresh out of college somebody are having a computer science background somebody may be having a mechanical engineering as a background when you are an engineering background or a mca background your concepts are clear logical thinking is clear so you can go into any of the sense right how durability will be for in memory db that's a good question they will ensure the images of the memory are multi backed up in multiple servers we are now talking about one to server in in memory database they are talking about uh, 20000 uh, servers because like you might be he heard about amazon db all are virtual machines right you heard about amazon yes means raise your hand how many of you heard about amazon if not immediately do google it try to understand what that amazon is so that's a learning every component or every technology is very important especially when you are facing an interview right so they may you say you have to say sometimes as if you worked in that so everything matters a lot the confidence is the one which is very important anyway now thanks a few people have raised whoever has not raised hand immediately search in the google what is amazon understand what he is trying to do they are all called cloud environment we you might be hearing about you might heard about cloud testing as well all comes under that uh, category so these are those people are all always it's a 24/7 all images are taken they are opening up once a server in multiple locations in fact softsmith have a server in multiple location as well through amazon so the reason is we don't want to lose the data even if there is a problem in one area so in that sense that durability should not be a problem as long as i take the right images so i hope that answers the question anything else before we move to the next topic so today i should complete the entire uh, theory part of database structure why we need to learn database testing then we move on to the next topic called creating a table inserting a table data into the table uh, updating what is update in the table etc etc the table structures right once we finish the table structures then we understand the query of the table once we understand the query of the table we try to complicate the query so that you understand how the complex query happens why you get a duplicate data etc etc right 